Hello everyone, this is Juan here from Fadeville Fly Traps and today I'm gonna show you an easy way to feed baby Venus fly traps. These are some of my seedlings from last year. These are Maroon Monster by Dracula. As you can see, they're a little bit big, but not big enough to eat a large insect like a housefly. Now, feeding is not required for Venus fly traps but feeding them helps them grow big faster. And since these guys are too small for large insects, finding smaller insects or feeding them by hand is a little bit of a hard issue when you have a lot of them. So I'm gonna show you a little trick or an easier way to feed a lot of little baby Venus fly traps. Over the past years, I used a couple different things for feeding baby Venus fly traps. I've used freeze dried bloodworms, I use fish food, and I've used uh, Trivolium confusium or the uh, common pantry beetle larvae. But I came up with a new way of feeding them, or I basically discovered a new easy way of uh, using mosquito larvae. So, um, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a big bucket or a big plate, fill it with water and leave it outside for a couple of days or a couple of weeks until you see a mosquito larvae growing on them. This is the bucket I use to collect rainwater and it's sitting outside the greenhouse. And if we zoom inside there, you might be able to see some of the mosquito larvae growing there. There are some to the upper left. Mosquito larvae are usually pretty still, but if you kick the bucket or make some movement in the water, they will start swimming all around making them easier to look. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to scoot all these out of the bucket and put them in a smaller container with a little bit of water for easier handling. In my case, I'm going to be using this little uh, butterfly net, but you know, anything you can use to scoop those larvae out might help. The finer the holes, the better, because those larvae are very tiny and it's better not to leave any of them on the water, otherwise they will turn into mosquitoes. These are all the mosquito larvae I was able to take out of the bucket and I put them in a small container with a little bit of water. Uh, don't put too much water because then it will be hard for you to be able to catch them out of there. Uh, for safety reasons, I will prefer to use distilled water since these are going to be going into the uh, Venus fly trap mouth and we don't want to put any other uh, minerals in the traps because that might burn them or uh, make them black. So uh, always use distilled water or rainwater when mixing any sort of food for a Venus fly trap. Now, there's a couple things that is important to mention. Uh, mosquito larvae are very delicate. So if you're going to grab them, I would recommend using uh, fine point twizzlers and grabbing them by the tip of the tail. Because if you grab them by the middle of the body or anywhere near the head, they will die. And remember, Venus fly traps will only initiate digestion if they sense movement inside the trap. So if you put a dead mosquito larvae, that trap will open back again tomorrow and uh, it's not going to digest it. So always use the uh, live mosquito larvae. It is uh, inevitable that some of these will die when you try to scoop them out of the bucket, but that's totally fine. So uh, just use the live ones and grab them by the tail, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Right here, I got one by the tail. It's kind of hard to see, but... Now, so far, I haven't had any issue using mosquito larvae. They tend to move enough inside the trap to trigger digestion. And uh, they are dry enough to where the traps don't rot. So I haven't got any black traps that were solo using them as food. 
Um, so far, they've been pretty useful and easy when you have when you have a lot of plants to feed at once. Now on this particular plant, you can see one mosquito larvae that has already been digested by the plant. Uh, it's that little black worm that you see over here. That's what it look like after the plant digested. As you can see, the trap looks fine. It didn't turn black or it didn't burn. So uh, just a little proof that this can be uh, a very effective way of fitting those little Venus by traps. Um, especially if you grow a lot of these, like I do. There are a couple important things to consider about this method. Um, one thing is that um, it is very important to harvest the mosquito larvae very often or to uh, dump the water out of the bucket or the plate. That way there are no mosquito larvae left and they will turn into mosquitoes. Uh, this is very important if you live in an area where a mosquito transmitted disease and an issue. Last thing you want to do is have a source of mosquitoes next to uh, where you live. So uh, either harvest the larvae very often, make sure there is no larvae left, or just uh, empty the water in between harvesting. So just put new water and allow the mosquitoes to put eggs again. That way you don't have the risk of having uh, mosquitoes come out of the water and then biting you. So I hope you like this method and thank you for watching.